Hi, my name is Zi Yan. I'm from the Rochester Institute of Technology Robotics Club. Uh, today, I'm going to show you our entry to the Texas Instrument MSP430 Ultra Low Power Challenge. Uh, our entry to this competition is actually a remote door lock that allows you to remotely and securely unlock the door from your watch. So imagine, I'm a student, I'm really tired after a whole day of study. So when I come home, I really don't want to reach into my backpack and then find my key. Um, so we developed this system that allows you to uh, quickly and securely unlock your door. So as you can see, I'm still very far away from my door, but I can already click a button on my watch to connect to the door. I watch that door found, and then ask me for a code. So this code could be my favorite rhyme, uh, like <laughs> okay, now it's that door unlocked. Now let's go check the door. <laughs> it seems too far away. <laughs> I can get into my apartment. But just show you what just happened. Let's close this door again. Now just to show you we can't actually get into it because um you can't actually if the door is locked. So to get into a door, it's really easy. You just Go to your watch, click this button, it says door found. Now it's typing your code. So you just do <laughs> now it sends the door, and then the door is unlocked. Um when you're in your house, you really want to keep everything safe. So what you do is um you usually have to lock your door again. But this system allows you to uh automatically uh just leave it there and then the the door will just lock itself after two seconds. And then to get on the door, of course you don't have to uh, type in your code again because that would be too complicated. You're in a hurry, so you just press the red button and then the door is unlocked. You just get out. And of course, you don't have to lock your uh, door on the way out. The watch we're using for this project is the TI Easy 430 Chronos watch. It comes with a 3SS accelerometer, a temperature sensor, and a pressure sensor. We build on top of TI's existing watch code an extra mode called a door mode. In a door mode, you can press the right button to activate a door unlock. A watch will ask for your code. You can tap in the code simply by using the 3-axis accelerometer. Now the watch sends the code to the door with a 128-bit encryption. The door sets the sequence and then sends an acknowledgement back to the watch so the watch can display door open. Now if we type in the wrong sequence, the code is again sent to the door using 128-bit encryption, but now the door realized the code was incorrect, so it sends back to the watch a fail acknowledgement. Hi, my name is Zachary Shivers. I also go to the Rochester Institute of Technology, um, and I'm also in the Rock Club. I want to give you some detailed view of our electronic door lock hardware. So as you can see, we have a red button here, which is to unlock the door as you're leaving, and a green status LED, just to let you know what's going on inside. So we can open up the case here and see that we've got a typical hobby servo. Uh, we've got it mounted to the existing door hardware. As you can see, you can directly move it when it's powered off. That allows you to keep using your key if you uh, do, don't have your watch on you. We have a battery pack which has four double A's. We've got a 3.3 volt regulator ultra low quiescent current and some MOSFETs to control the power of the servo and the LED. Um, this right here is a shunt resistor which measures the current that's going through the servo, so if we're in a stall condition we can stop immediately uh, as not to blow out our servo. And on the side here we have a, a read switch which allows us to know exactly when the door is open or closed. So we take a look under this board here, which is our custom breadboard. We see that we have this TI hardware, it's the 915 megahertz wireless development kit from TI. It's the CC1111 chip series and we're using that to communicate with the watch directly.